during this next section, you're actually going to join me when I'm back upon the teeing ground of this particular hole, looking at how this hole would play from over there. Now, the, the position I'm in here is down the left-hand side of the hole. The teeing ground's much more over this side, so we'll be playing from here, trying to work out how we can avoid hitting it to the left-hand side, bringing this bunker into play at all. You see the big tree behind the flag. From the teeing ground, you'll appreciate how far to the right of the flag that is and how the big tree would actually be my target line. Aiming to the big tree, keeping it away from this bunker so I don't get sucked into this tight flag position. I can play to the safe side of the green and then play my second shot from there, either on the green or my chip shot from the right edge of the green would certainly be an awful lot easier than the chip shot I left myself here on the left hand edge of the green. So we'll now go back to the teeing ground and have a look at how we can play the the tee shot a little bit more safely to the safe side of the green from back over there. So now we've come back to the teeing ground and we're looking back up towards the green and this is really where we're going to start making the decisions about where we actually aim on this particular hole to try and find the best but also the safest route to get up to the flag. As we've seen when we're closer up to the green, there's a huge bunk around that front area and quite a tight flag back in the corner. And that's what I would actually call a sucker pin position. And green keepers, course designers, course managers are very good at finding these sucker pin positions. And I call them sucker pin positions because the flag is trying to suck you in and draw you in to try and playing that shot, but also only a sucker would actually take that shot on. We've actually got a large area of green to the right hand side and being as though this is a relatively difficult hole I'm going to be taking something like a 4 or a 5 iron to reach the green here. It's an incredibly difficult shot to fly it over that bunker and try and land it in the tight area towards the flag. So really what we're looking at here is encouraging you to, to think about where the large part of the green is, where the centre part of the green is and where you have a larger margin of error. If you're going to hit a perfect golf shot every time, okay, take the tight flag position on. That's maybe what Tiger Woods would be doing. But remember, your ability, your standard, uh, the sort of score that you would make on this hole that you would be happy with. I think we'd all be happy taking a 5-iron into a green and coming off with a 3. Some of you guys with a handicap, you'd be happy taking a 4 on this sort of hole. So what I'd be doing is I'd stand back from the tee, pick out a target in the distance that I want to aim towards. And I think probably the, the big tree is going to show up quite nicely on your screen. So the big tree tree is actually going to be my target line. The flag sits around about 10 paces to the left of the big tree, but if I can pick out the big tree and it straight down that line, that's going to give me a nice putt from that distance back in towards the flag. I'm also going to look at whereabouts on the teeing ground I want to stand. If I stand over to the right hand side on this side here, it allows me a better angle in. I have to go over less of the bunker. Standing over on this side towards here, dangers on the left hand side with the bunker, I have to fly over the bunker and carry more room. Sorry, there's less room to carry there. So I'm going to tee it up over on this side and stand back behind the golf ball pick out my marker again being exactly down the line of that big tree one or two practice swings here and then go ahead and hit the ball straight down the line of the tree being very conscious that I'm not at the last minute going to look back to see the flag and try and hook the ball or draw the ball back into the flag once I've made my mind up that that tree is going to be my target line and I'm not going to get sucked in towards the flag the tree's my line that's where I'm going to hit it hit it right onto the tree and be happy with the result you get if it's a sucker pin position don't get sucked into it play it safe take a couple of putts from there and be happy with the score that you make